So this is a piece of wood that I'm going to use. It's a piece of walnut that I salvaged from a big uh, bundle of firewood that we bought. It's got a lot of really cool character, a lot of really cool grit, I think. But we got to start out by cleaning this up. So I'm going to run it through my planer. <laughs> Then we're going to trim off the ends on the chop saw. And then finally we'll use the table saw to cut all the edges straight. So now that our wood is all cleaned up, let me show you how we're going to mount this on the wall. Right now you're looking at the right side of this thing. And what we're going to do is cut a 45 degree notch in the end and it's going to act like a French cleat system on the wall to hold our coat hanger in place. So here what I've done is I've beveled my table saw blade to 45 degrees and what that's going to let us do is adjust the height and we're going to be able to cut our uh, kind of negative space for the French cleat system. <laughs> Alright, so now you can see that with that 45 degree dado cut, we can cut a positive piece that'll fit in there, and that's what'll get screwed to the wall. And so then for the positive piece, I've planed down a little piece of wood that when you set it in there, it's just a little bit shallower than the depth of your dado, and that's what you want. So this right here is my positive piece, and let me screw it down to this piece of plywood so I can demonstrate how it works. Alright, so now that we got this screwed down, I'll just kind of show you how this works real quick. So basically, you just kind of push it in from the top. And as you can see, it sits flush against there, and it's very strong, and it doesn't want to pull off. So I got the piece of plexiglass over the back. Now I'm just going to use hot glue to seal up everything around. So I got the back part sealed up real well. Now all we have to do is just put a little piece over the end here, and then we'll be done. And now that it's time to pour the epoxy, I've brought everything to the basement and I've put a tarp down just in case anything manages to leak out. And for the first coat, we're only going to go about 3 eighths of an inch deep and that way we can more easily control the air bubbles. And I have decided that we're going to go with a blue resin for this. I think it's going to be a very nice contrast with this very figured walnut. Alright, so I got our first coat in, and I'm not quite sure what's making it look very purple on camera, but I really, really like the color that it's giving me. And like I said, I only put about 3 eighths of an inch in, and that's just going to help me control the air bubbles. And now it's time for the second coat. Three. Four. Four. So here I am pouring the second coat of resin and I messed around with the different amounts of food coloring to see if I could get a less purple look and more of a blue. And the second coat is poured. And to save you from having to watch me mix up more resin, I just skipped right to the last pour. And I made this one just a little bit lighter than the last one. And I'm making sure to overflow everything as I'm going to plane all this off later. And it's the next day, so we can start to demold this thing. This is going to be a challenge in itself, getting all this hot glue off of there. Hmm. Alright, so getting a chisel down in there and... Kind of hammering it seems to be working pretty well. Just gotta be careful, I don't want to break all this epoxy. So I just 
ran that thing through my planer, which I'm sure is not really the correct way to do this, but it worked for me, and I got a nice flat surface. So I'm going to use my random warm sander and sand this down and try and get this uh, it's kind of polished, I guess, as you, as you could say, as I can. And then we're going to wipe on a coat of clear resin over top of that to seal everything in. Okay guys, so while I'm wiping on that top coat of clear epoxy, let me tell you a little bit more about Total Boat. Total Boat is a manufacturer of a wide assortment of different resins and glues, which come in different curing speeds and mixing ratios. For this project, I've been using the Total Boat 2 to 1 clear epoxy, and it's way better than the cheap epoxy I was using before. This is also my first time using epoxy pumps to get the perfect ratio of resin to hardener, and it's way less messy than pouring it out of the jug and measuring it into cups by eye. Big thanks to Total Boat for sponsoring this week's video. And so guys, with our top coat on, I'm going to route a recess in the back so we can put some LED lights back there and give it a really cool accent. But I'm not going to show any of that since it's the exact same process as when I made my epoxy resin lamps. So if you want to see how I did that, just click the link that's right up here. It'll show you everything you need to know. So sorry guys, my phone died, but I was cutting these little pegs that we're going to use as the coat hangers. And I've used a, an X-Acto uh, knife to mark out where the corner of it is going to be. So I'm going to sand away some of the resin here, epoxy them on, and I'm going to use a pocket screw in the back to hold it on. So I've got a little area sanded there, and that's really just mainly so that way the epoxy will stick, and it's gonna really let me drive those pocket screws in without this thing sliding around on the resin. So guys, we just got some epoxy on the bottom, and now we're just gonna put it right into place on there. And now we're just going to have to hold that until it dries. So we just got all our pieces epoxied on there with some 5-minute epoxy. And I made a huge mistake. I was going to finish all these before I put them on so that way I didn't get it all over the resin. But unfortunately, I forgot completely about that. So we're going to have to be careful doing it after. Anyway, we're going to wait for that epoxy to dry and we'll stick those pocket screws in from the back. So guys, thanks for watching this video. I think the coat rack turned out really, really cool, especially with that blue resin and the, the LED accent here. Big thank you to Total Vote for sponsoring this week's video. If you want to buy something from their website, the link will be in the description. And use the code SCUSTOMS. The name will be on the screen. Use the code SCUSTOMS to get a discount on your order. And guys, we are almost at 500 subscribers, which is a huge milestone for me. I know a lot of other YouTubers are at hundreds of thousands and even the millions, but 500 subscribers, that's crazy. 500 subscribers, one of my videos almost hit 30,000 views, which is really crazy. Thank you, guys. And lastly, guys, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Seth's Custom Creations. I'll put the name on the screen right here. Uh, I post a lot of behind-the-scenes action and a lot of stuff that never gets put up on my YouTube channel, so be sure to check it out. I will have a new video next week, probably around Christmas time. Uh, it's a very, very cool video, also involving resin. Be sure to check that out. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next week.